Welcome to morning prayer on Thursday morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm is number 53. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they, and abominable in their wickedness. There is no one that does good. God has looked down from heaven upon the children of earth, to see if there is anyone who is wise and seeks after God. They are all gone out of the way. All alike have become corrupt. There is no one that does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers, who eat up my people as if they ate bread and do not call upon God? There shall they be in great fear, such fear as never was. For God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame because God has rejected them. Oh, that Israel's salvation would come out of Zion when God restores the fortunes of his people. Then will Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of humility. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day he will raise us up that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring grains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Today's reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 22. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the father's hand. The father and I are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, Have I shown you many good works from the father? For which of these are you going to stone me? The Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy 
because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because I said, I am God's son? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptising earlier, and he remained there. Many came to him and were saying, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. Here ends the reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Saviour of the world. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so we pray. Almighty God, at the beginning of a new day, we pray for the day that is ahead of us. We pray for the challenges and the tasks that we are to face. And Lord, we pray that you would direct our steps, that we may bring you glory in all that we do today. Lord, we pray today for the leaders of our country. We pray for all those in authority that you would give them wisdom to seek the common good. Lord, we pray for those people who others look up to and those who have influence over others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness, we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>